The Time of Contempt, The Witcher Book 2, continues the story of Geralt of Rivia, a witcher with supernatural abilities who hunts monsters for a living, and his destiny-bound ward Ciri, a girl with mysterious powers. This novel by Andrzej Sapkowski weaves a tale of political intrigue, war, and personal struggle, set in a richly detailed fantasy world. As the novel begins, Geralt and Ciri are residing in the temple school in Elander, under the watchful eye of the priestess Nenica and the sorceress Yennefer, Geralt's love interest. Yennefer plans to enroll Ciri in a magical academy in Aratuza for proper training in the use of her abilities. Before departing for the academy, Yennefer and Geralt have a passionate but tumultuous reunion, and it becomes apparent that though they care deeply for each other, their relationship is fraught with difficulties. Meanwhile, tensions are mounting amongst the Northern Kingdoms and the Nilfgaardian Empire. The kings of the North are becoming increasingly suspicious of the Brotherhood of Sorcerers, who have considerable influence and power in political matters, and the neutral status of the mage community is challenged. Ciri and Yennefer arrive in Aratuza, where Ciri is to attend the Magical Academy. Ciri begins her studies but finds herself struggling to fit in, made worse by her mysterious powers that are, at times, difficult to control. Ciri begins to form a bond with some of the other girls but also encounters jealousy and hostility. During a convocation on the Isle of Thaned, where mages from across the world gather, a coup d'etat unfolds. The meeting was intended to be a neutral ground for discussing the political situation, but it quickly turns into chaos as it becomes clear that the mages are deeply divided. A fraction of the Brotherhood, led by the ambitious Vilgeforts, has allied with Nilfgaard to overthrow the kings of the north, while another faction wants to maintain the current balance of power. Geralt is present at the gathering, and despite being politically neutral, he finds himself drawn into the conflict as it spirals wildly out of control. During the mayhem, he witnesses the betrayal of his fellow sorcerers and is gravely wounded in the ensuing fight. Meanwhile, Ciri realizes the Aratuza Academy is no longer safe, as it has been infiltrated by Nilfgaardian sympathizers, and she narrowly escapes the island with the help of a young sorceress named Tessaya de Vries. The Kingdom of Redania, wanting to secure its position, enacts its own plots. Its spymaster, Dijkstra, begins to take measures to control the Northern Kingdom's response to the threat posed by Nilfgaard. The balance of power shifts as various factions vie for control, and schemes are laid by kings, mages, and other influential figures. In the midst of this, Ciri is separated from Geralt and Yennefer, and she finds herself alone and on the run. She encounters a gang of bandits known as the Rats, becoming embroiled in their criminal activities. Through her experiences with the Rats, Ciri discovers a harsher side of life as she is forced to kill to survive and begins to tap into her darker emotions and the raw power of her lineage. Geralt, recovering from his injuries, attempts to find Ciri, but is met with complex political machinations and a lack of reliable information. As he seeks out his ward, he confronts numerous obstacles, both supernatural and human. He learns of a prophecy tied to Ciri, wherein she may be the key to either the world's salvation or its destruction, leading him to understand that the forces pursuing her extend well beyond mere political maneuvering. Yennefer, meanwhile, is captured during the coup and imprisoned. Her fate is uncertain, but her determination to reunite with Ciri and protect her remains undimmed. Her own story of captivity and eventual escape underlines the themes of resilience and the bonds of love that persist through the most trying of circumstances. The novel delves into the darker aspects of the human heart, as well as explores the complexities of morality in a world where the line between good and evil is often blurred. Geralt, as a witcher, faces a constant struggle with his identity and purpose as he navigates a path that keeps drawing him into the affairs of humans and non-humans alike. Ultimately, the time of contempt portrays a rich tapestry of interconnected stories, each woven with threads of ambition, betrayal, love, and sacrifice. The fate of the characters is left uncertain, setting the stage for further developments in the looming conflict that threatens to engulf their world. The novel concludes with a deepening sense of foreboding, as the characters brace for the inevitable impact of the events that have been set in motion, a time of war and contempt for the old order 
that will change their lives forever. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.